Hello, my fellow global citizens. My name is Aditya Gore. I'm here to throw some light on the activities of ours that is doing nothing by ruining our ecosystem. The ecological footprint each of us have depicts this very effectively. The progress traps as talked about by Ronald Wright in his book, Short History of Progress, have also been the causes for making what the earth is now. Sustainable development is what is needed in today's world. What we are supposed to progress along with fulfilling our duties towards our environment. The progress is not supposed to harm our environment. The companies have to decide if they really wish to work for the environment or against it. As global citizens, we all need to stand with promoting a filtering system that would allow only the ecologically driven companies to work in the market. This kind of filtering system would be required for a better future. If multinational companies across the world work just a bit towards the environment responsibly, then overall it would create a big difference. As Harish Manwani mentioned in his TED talk in Singapore, progress needs to come with responsible behavior, responsible behavior towards mankind on the whole. The time has come that we treat ourselves as global citizens and not just think of citizens of some particular nation. All the countries of this world are in this planet of ours. We can start thinking sustainably in every small aspect of life. Usually people think that we need to do something big to make a change. So they end up giving up. The truth is, it is as simple as using jute bags instead of plastic bags. It is as simple as using mason jars for drinks rather than using plastic bottles. The companies are making it because we on the ground level are not substituting it with something more eco-friendly. To see a big change in the world, we need to be the change. Only then the world will go in the right direction and will save our planet. A successful person works hard every day to achieve and maintain his success. If I do my part, so does my housemate, so does my school fellows. This planet Earth won't take much time to become more resilient for the future generations.